I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, bro. Before I get going on our video, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction you want me to do, knockoutboxing 86 at yahoo.com is the email address. And don't forget about our live shows. We live every Wednesday and Thursday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time. We also live every Sunday morning with the Singing OG KQKC Boxing Network, Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. But let's get it popping. Let's get into our videos. And today, got another fight prediction. Jose Uskoktegi versus Vladimir Shishishkin. 12-round, 168-pound fight. Uskoktegi is 31 years old out of Venezuela. Former champion. Orthodox fighter, 6'2", with a 76.5-inch reach. Shashishkin is 31 years old out of Russia. 6'1", with a 73-inch reach. He's an Orthodox fighter as well. 13 wins, no losses, with 8 wins by way of knockout. Then you got uh, Uskoktegi, who's 32 wins, 4 losses, with 27 wins by way of knockout. Um, Uskoktegi is a puncher, man. Very powerful, hits very hard. Um, other than that, though, defense is not that good. Footwork is not that good. Hand speed is slow. Um, and he's just, he's somebody to where you, he probably either going to stop you or you going to outbox him. That's why he got four losses. And then the power, like he got very good power, but you know, 27 knockouts and 36 fights. So, you know, it's above average 70%, something like that, you know, knockout ratio or something like that, whatever 27 out of 36 is. So, um, that's kind of how it is, bro. You ain't stopping Uz Kakuki for the most part of his career. He ain't been stopped before. He done been down before, but he ain't never been stopped. And he ain't finna outbox you. But he's somebody you got to stay on your P's and Q's with. You could be outboxing him. You could be outpointing him. And then he can hit you with something to hurt you and change the whole complexion of the fight. That's just basically how he fights in a nutshell. He's either stopping you or you're going to win a unanimous decision against him. Vladimir Shishkin, above average power. Um, good one too. Good boxing fundamentals. Moves well in the ring. He can get caught tall sometimes, or he can get caught straight up. And Uskoski got a nice left hook. Shishishkin is in a situation to where I don't think he can stop Uskoski. He can outpoint him and win a wide unanimous decision, or he can be winning and end up getting caught. So he can be up six rounds to zero, get caught. You know, five rounds to to two get caught. So he got to be on his P's and Q's. He got to be on his A game the whole time to win this fight. Who's Kakuki? Try to work behind your jab. Try to pressure him. Look for your opening. Look for him to make a mistake. And then you capitalize on that mistake. As far as who I'm picking and why, um, it's one of those things as to whether or not you think Who's Kakuki going to hit him with some shit and hurt him. Who's Kakuki is coming off three stoppages in a row, but it was all against subpar uh, opponents. Um, he also got outboxed by Lionel Thompson, I believe the guy's name was. Um, he's been outboxed, obviously, by Caleb Plant, who also dropped him, I believe. Um, so he's, you know, and Caleb Plant is at the top of the division. So him outboxing somebody, you know, he arguably outboxed Canelo Alvarez till he got stopped by to some. To me, I had Canelo winning the fight at the time of the stoppage, but it was highly competitive, right? Um, so as far as who I'm picking and why, I like Shishishkin in this fight. His jab is better. His hand speed is better. His boxing fundamentals are better. Um, as long as Kotsky is going to get hit, he's so he's easy to hit. He's very slow. As long as you're checking his own and on point and, and and alert for the entirety of the fight, this should be a fight that he is able to win. It should be a fight that he's able to win. I think he's the better boxer. He has the better fundamentals. He has the better foot speed. He has the better hand speed. The only advantage that Uskoksky has over him is that he's more powerful than Shashashkin. It's the only advantage that he has. So you got a guy who has a puncher's chance. It's a very good puncher's chance, though, because Shashashkin can get hit, too. Like, he ain't just out here elusive on some Caleb Plant shit. You understand what I'm saying? So I wouldn't be shocked if he does get caught, but I think he'll be able to take Uskoksky punches relatively well. I think the stuff that Uskoksky does hit him with, he'll be able to see coming, brace for it, you know, put his hand up for it, and not, you know, not pitch a shutout, but win relatively comfortable. And then once he gets the lead, as long as he boxes to his ability, boxes safe, it's a fight he should be able to win. So I'm going to go with Vladimir Shashevskin in this fight. I'm going to say he wins this fight by unanimous decision, um, and it's going to be a relatively wide unanimous decision. Uskoski is either going to stop him or get outboxed by a wide margin 
nine rounds to three, eight rounds to four at best for 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 Jose Uzcakagi is gonna be my my um my prediction for this fight. But y'all let me know who y'all pick and comment down below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, turn on your notifications, and go follow me on Twitter at KO Boxing eighty six TV. Um, live shows Wednesday and Thursday night, seven thirty p.m. Central Time. Other than that, appreciate y'all watching. Enjoy the rest of your day, and with that, we out of here. Peace out.